Hi, it's Sarah here with my virtual friend, because we've never met in person, only online. Ooh, the cat just ran through the background. <laughs> and colleague, Liana Silver. And Liana is a relationship expert based out in the San Francisco Bay Area. And you can visit her online at love3.0.com. That's love and then the numeral three point P O I N T O dot com. So welcome Liana. It's really great to, to have you on the show today. Thank you. It's a delight to be here. So I'm a huge fan of your work, Liana, and it's it's made a big difference in my relationship life, both my intimate relationship and it's my relationships with men in general, you know, in all, all different facets. And I'm here today to talk to you about how we can magnetize men into our allies during our most sensitive times of the month. And this is specifically for men that we're in intimate relationships with, but I know that women may be in relationships with women or they might not be in a relationship. And we can also kind of scan out at the end to see how we can apply this to, you know, to all sorts of relationships. But, you know, I've noticed that my partner and I, and in past relationships, we've gotten in arguments pretty much at the same time every month. And that's my PMS week. And I know that I'm not alone in this. And so I'm wondering, is there a little secret tip that you can share with us about how to, to divert this and to instead bring men so that they're on our side when we need them rather than making them our enemies? That's a great question. Um, so I would say um, great realization that the arguments happen at that particular time. So my one tip, if I had to just distill it down, would be to do this. You can kind of get him or her on your side. Let's talk a little bit how it would work in an intimate relationship, but it can be extrapolated into any important relationship in your life. So basically you want to start to think about not at the time when you're at your most raw or vulnerable or emotional, so not at that PMS time per se, but at another time, think about what would make the difference for you at that moment. What is the one thing that he or they could say or do that would really get you back to feeling centered or grounded or or just feel soothed in some way? Maybe it would be that they would say, it's going to be okay, or that they would give you a hug or give you a hug and say it's going to be okay, or draw you a bath, or get you flowers. Right? You just want to think, what's the one thing, or maybe the small sequence of events of things, one or two things at most, right? that would really make all the difference for you at that time. And then just get really specific with what it is and empower him or them to do it. So you could say something like, I'm telling you now, because at the time, I probably won't have the words or the clarity to tell you this in the moment. Mm-hmm. So at this time, you probably know how it goes. I get like this. And just so you know, this is the thing that's going to make all the difference for me. When you notice me getting really weepy and feeling like the world is totally overwhelming, that's what happens to me. That happens to me too. All right. When you notice that, please, should the first thing you do, just give me a hug, hold it longer than you think that you want to, and tell me it's going to be okay. I'm just going to empower you to do that. I won't remember to do it at, to tell you at the time, but but are you game to try it out and see how it goes? Mm. So that would be my one tip there. And something um, so I have a question about this is that yeah. when I'm in those moments, like those weepy PMS moments, it feels like I'm underwater, and I actually I actually don't put two and two together sometimes that I'm having PMS. Yeah. Even though I know full well that it's my PMS time, and my partner can forget that as well even though we've had this conversation, um, do you have a tip for how we can remind ourselves? Totally. So this is sort of the preamble to the tip I just gave would be to, um, for both of you, start to map out your cycle. And if you're regularly menstruating, it's going to be somewhere along the every 28 to 32 days, right? So f- what that would look like if you have a regular schedule is – Put it on the calendar that you both have access to. If it's a physical calendar, great. If it's a shared um, electronic or computer calendar, do it. I think, Sarah, you and I both realize we do this in the same way. We do a shared calendar with our partner online, and I color code it. 
So there's a little color that says, this is the time when I'm going to be my most weepy <laughs> uh, this, about this week. So your partner knows in advance uh, that it's coming. And so if he or she is a little bit not clocking your cycle and you are in that underwater time, you can both go ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. And then I would say if you're not menstruating, like your cycle's irregular, you're in menopause or amenorrhea or whatever is going on, you can, you're can you still going to have some um, way to gauge this. So you can just, it'll take a little bit longer, take a month or two or three and record at the end of the day. Yeah, baby crying. Yeah. There's also cat, there's like lots of cats and babies everywhere. Hold on. No. <laughs> Do you want to start that? No, it's, you can keep going. It's all right. <laughs> okay. All right. We're all, we're all women here. Life is full over here. <laughs> and he's teething. He's getting his teeth. And Aww. I'm so glad we don't really remember that. Little, like, knives poking Aww. through your gums. Um, but regardless, so back to that. If you, uh, if you don't have a predictable cycle, at the end of the day, really simply note the, emo the main emotion and your main energy level throughout the day. And you'll start to notice the ups and downs of that. And that'll give you some sense of where you're at in your cycle. And so you can empower you, you yourself, your partner, yeah. uh, as well around that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great point. Just just to, to remember as wherever you are, wherever we are in our age or seasons of life, that we all go through these fluctuations and to get conscious around them and to align our relationships around them and to communicate them with the people that we love and I think just lastly to thank you for what you're doing is so often because we are underwater at certain points or we don't actually realize this happened 28 days ago and 28 days ago before that is that we start to feel crazy yeah and what I love about you and your work is there is tremendous it's not an aberration <laughs> Half the planet does this. There's incredible wisdom and power in this. And these are just the first few steps in reclaiming that. So thank you for your brilliance. Yeah, and thanks for also um, voicing that because I think, yeah, it's, as women, we know that there are certain times when, where we feel like we're going crazy. And, um, and I know that no matter how much spiritual practice I do during those times, it doesn't make it better. Ah. Uh, it's just, you know, we need to go there. <laughs> and the more that we can talk about it publicly, the more that when we get into those really dark places, we can hang out in them. We can hang out in the bottom of the emotional ocean until it's time to come up again for air or into the light. Yeah. And not not feel like we have to get out of there as quick as possible, but yeah, yeah. in there to to um to glean the lessons. Yeah. yeah. And and that the people that we love can can start to understand that. And just be by our side, um, you know, when, when we're in that place. Yeah, well said. And so they don't have to be as scared and help, like, help us get out of there as soon as possible either. Yeah. 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 Well, um, thank you so much, Liana. And I, I just want to share with um, the women and perhaps even men who are watching that Liana has a really great program that this kind of communication is part of. It's called Man Whispering. And you can also find out about that at manwhispering.com. And I believe it's an online digital course right now, and you're, you're offering it again live in the fall. Exactly. Um, so I highly recommend that. I was a student of it myself and um, really appreciate what you share in there. Mm, thank you. Yeah. No, it's got good mojo, that one. It does. It does. And um, also that Liana will be sharing more on this topic of how to magnetize your man into your ally during your most sensitive time of the month in my upcoming course, Reversing Our Curse. And there's details about that right at the end of this video. So thanks, thanks so much, Liana. My pleasure. Wherever you need me, I'm there. Thank thanks. you for what you're doing, Sarah. Bye. Bye.